While studying experimental designs is not the main objective of this course, one should be familiar with the vocabulary and some basic designs, including the gold standard, also known as randomized controlled trial. There are four components. First, there is a treatment to be studied like a program, a drug, or a medical procedure. Second, there is a control condition. Sometimes this is a group that doesn't get any treatment at all. Often it is a group that gets some other kind of treatment, but of a different kind or smaller amount. Third, the participants must be randomly assigned to treatment or control groups. It is critical that nobody, not the researchers, not the people in the experiment, can participate in the decision about which group people fall into. Some kind of randomization procedure is used to put people into groups, flipping a coin, using a computer, or some other method. This is the only way we can make sure that the people who get the intervention will be similar to those who don't. Fourth, there must be carefully defined outcome measures, and they must be measured before and after the treatment occurs. In 1954, an experiment was designed to test the effectiveness of the SOC vaccine in preventing polio, which had killed or paralyzed thousands of children. By random selection, more than 400,000 children were randomly assigned to two groups. Roughly 200,000 children were given a treatment consisting of SOC vaccine injections, and roughly another 200,000 children were injected with a placebo that contained no drug. Children were assigned to the treatment or placebo group through a process of random selection, equivalent to flipping a coin. Among the children given the SOC vaccine, 33 later developed paralytic polio, and among the children given a placebo, 115 later developed paralytic polio, which proven the effectiveness of the SOC vaccine. One should be familiar with the following vocabulary. Experimental group. In the experiment, it is the group that is exposed to the treatment. Control group. In the experiment, it is the group that does not receive the experimental treatment. In the stock vaccine experiment, the children that received the vaccine formed the experimental group, and the children that didn't receive the vaccine formed the control group. Treatment. A specific condition applied to the individuals in the experiment. One of the possible treatments is placebo. A fake drug used in the testing of medication. In the SOC vaccine experiment, the experimental group was treated with vaccine and the control group with placebo. Response variable is a variable that measures an outcome or result of a study. Explanatory variable a variable that we think explains or causes changes in the response variable. In the SOC vaccine experiment, the response variable was whether a child developed polio or not, and the explanatory variable was whether the vaccine was administered or not. Blinding A technique where the subjects do not know whether they are receiving a treatment or placebo. Double blinding A technique where both the subject and the data recorder do not know the treatment. One can dedicate the entire semester to study experimental designs. Since this is not the objective of the course, we discussed the main features of the gold standard design and the vocabulary associated with the concept.